All right, let's talk about Anthony Richardson, the fourth overall selection by the Indianapolis Colts, someone who's talked about a lot as a project. So he's someone I was very fascinated seeing this preseason and what he can do and how does he look? How has he maybe improved from when we last saw him in college or how has he not improved? Spoiler alert, I think he still very much is the guy we saw in college for worse and for better though. So let's get into the uh, the good and the bad from Anthony Richardson. Let's just start off with, uh, you know, the disaster that happened right away, right, with the interception. And, you know, uh, I've maintained this. I still do believe it. I don't think Anthony Richardson so much has a processing problem. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm just saying, to me, I think he more so has an accuracy problem than anything else. Uh, you know, if uh, I would recommend watching, if you haven't already, seeing my uh, analysis of him coming out of college and how he had some throws where it looked like he couldn't even hit the side of you know, a barn. Now, he had some great throws too, but it was just so inconsistent. And to me, this is an accuracy thing and kind of a, a technique thing as well, where, you know, it's that little uh, short route underneath that he's going to look towards. And he's looking towards it from the jump. Watch how he takes the snap. He, you know, looks over in that direction. A defender kind of jumps, so he had to hesitate a little bit. And because of that, you see his footwork is now very much not what you want to be doing. This is not how you want to throw the football. I mean, he's about to, it almost looks like he's about to sit down in a chair or something the way he's throwing this football. And the issue with it is it just, you know, it's harder to figure out exactly how much strength to put on it, right? If you have the exact same throwing motion, like take Tom Brady, for example, his throwing motion always pretty much the exact same every single time he's throwing the football. That allows you to be so accurate because you know exactly how much power to put on it. But when your feet get a little bit off balance, well, then your accuracy goes down, right? Even guys like Mahomes will sometimes miss throws because of this. No one is immune to missing throws when your footwork is off. And as you see, I mean, that was just a, again, that was just a missed throw. Maybe there was a miscommunication involved. That's always a question because usually when you see someone miss it by this much, you kind of think, okay, maybe miscommunication was the issue. But I don't think so. I think he just missed that throw and it's something that he's going to have to just get better at. And this is the real issue that he has in his game. And he's going to have to fix these things, which is why, you know, he was kind of talked about as such a project quarterback. However, this play is the opposite. This play is the positive of Richardson and why maybe in some, many ways, you know, in the passing game, he is a project quarterback. Why a lot of people have kind of made Justin Fields comparisons in a positive way of, well, his running ability might still be good enough that even if his passing gets him in trouble, his running still makes up for it. And like what's going to happen here is it's going to be a, uh, you know, a a quarterback uh, keeper, basically, where he fakes it though it's a handoff, he's going to run towards the top of the screen. I believe this is by design. This isn't a true option. But for the edge rusher, he doesn't know what's happening, right? Is this going to be a quarterback hand, uh, keeper or is the quarterback going to actually hand the ball off? He has to play both uh, aspects of the play. Watch how when this play begins, he moves in a little bit to try and be able to help out if it is just a traditional handoff, but now he realizes it is not, and I would say is in pretty good position to try and make a tackle on Richardson. However, watch how Richardson fights through that contact, and he is able to end up making this a positive gain right there, despite the fact that it was a pretty, you know, not great situation. He turns that into an actively good play. I mean, he ran over the second guy, so they got five yards on a play that many quarterbacks would of lost yardage on like this one's another one this one was in a near end zone scenario uh you know in the red zone same thing just this time it's instead of going towards the top of the screen going towards the bottom of the screen that's how this play is going to work watch how richardson again uh you know fakes the handoff keeps it himself uh this time the edge rusher is not quite in as good a position and that's going to happen right you're going to get sometimes uh, the unblocked man is going get, to get in great position like that last play sometimes it's going to be like this where you have a little bit of room to run and as you see, Richardson does a really good job. I would say, the, you know, uh, the defensive back did a good job. I believe there's actually a hold on that play because of the good job he did. But if that was a made block, that's a touchdown right there by Richardson. And he still made the most of these situations. So while it got, uh, you know, called back, he himself did a very good job. So the running stuff, the athleticism, that's definitely real. But to be honest, even some of the completions I saw, I wasn't in love with for Richardson. So something like this, it's zone coverage. You see how this route could work, right? It's going to get into a gap in coverage at a certain point. Okay, cool. Right when this play begins, sometimes you get this in the preseason, guys getting wide open. This is an easy throw to make. And to be clear, he is going to make it. But you know, again, 
you want to help set up your receiver. You want to give your receiver opportunities to do stuff after the catch uh, or just be able to get down and avoid a big hit. Richardson's throw is high, and while it was still a catch, that's one that, you know, you kind of say, hey, uh, sorry about that to your wide receiver after for several reasons. One, re one, that's how guys get hurt. Guys can get blown up uh, if you're, you know, you now can't really protect yourself. That's a concern. Also, you know, could have gotten more yards after the catch potentially. You lose that opportunity. And if your receiver doesn't make the catch and, you know, now it bounces off his hands, that's how interceptions happen. So for Richardson, the reality is he just has to be more careful than that. And these are the kind of uh, just issues we saw in college. Again, people, I th thought a lot of times blamed his decision making when, you know, I've always maintained on this channel that, you know, one of the things that's almost become a cliche that I say is that the more accurate you are, the better decision maker you are because your decisions don't end up being, you know, when you make a uh, throw through a tight window, if you're Tom Brady, it typically hits and you get considered a good decision maker. When you're Nathan Peterman, you get considered a bad one, even though it might have been the same throw just the, or same decision, but just one can actually make the throw. And again, the good news is there are some real technique issues with Richardson, so those are the things you hope you can improve upon, but he just, he does, he has to improve upon those things. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, if I have to give like an official rating uh, or an official evaluation of how I thought Richardson played in this game, I, I would say it was a bit of a disappointment, I thought. Uh, again, the couple of throws I just didn't love. It is a small sample size, so it's like, am I worried? No, I expected Richardson to be a bit of a project. He, to me now, looks like a bit of a project, so that's just kind of how I view it. But there was a scenario where I was making this video saying I am super excited about Anthony Richardson. If he his, his accuracy was on point, if his footwork looked better, if his you know throwing motion looked a little better, I could have been sitting here saying, oh my God, uh, this guy could win Rookie of the Year. This is fantastic. I didn't see that. Not to say it can't happen, but I, I'm not. I, I'm a, just just a little bit bearish on his ability to do it week one and to do it early on this year. And you know what? If you're a Colts fan, I think you're saying that's fine. At least you should be saying that's fine. The goal at the end of the day is not for Richardson to be an MVP year one. It's for him to be an MVP year three, right? It's to try and uh, get him to eventually be a star player, which is totally uh, in the cards, but uh, might not happen right away. But again, maybe he just missed a couple throws, but actually has been working on it a lot, and we'll see more with a bigger sample size. But so far, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.